Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is all about the Belkin Wemo. This is basically the way to turn your regular home into a smart home. Now we've got two variants of the Wemo here today. We've got the Switch and the Switch Plus Motion. We're going to start with a closer look at the Switch because this one comes with both of the kits. So on the front you find your typical three-pronged outlet. You've got some ventilation holes as well as a power switch and a wireless indicator LED. On the back of the unit you find a restore button. You hold that down to restore it to the factory defaults as well as a pass-through for that three-pronged switch. So what this essentially is is a wireless connected unit that will operate through your home wireless network that allows you to control the flow of current between this prong at the back and this outlet at the front. Now the Switch Plus Motion one comes with an additional Wemo unit that has on a fairly long wire here a motion sensor that you can also program using the Wemo software. Setup for the Wemo is pretty straightforward. You use the app to show you basically how to run the setup guide, but it's pretty easy. So you're connected to your regular home Wi-Fi on your iOS device. You don't want to do that anymore just to get things set up. You're going to change the Wi-Fi network that you're connected to to any one of your Wemo units. Once you do that, we're going to show you what happens next. Next, you run the Wemo app, which is available on the App Store for free, and it tells you you are connected to the Wemo Switch ID, whatever the ID happens to be. Now all you have to do is let the Wemo app know the name and password if required of your home network. So we're going to go ahead and select our Tech Tips network. I'm going to type in my SSID. I want you guys to join me in real time here while we see what happens. It says this may take up to 60 seconds, so we're not going to do this in real time. Now we get a prompt that comes up that says remote access enabled. You can now control your Wemo devices with this phone anywhere you have internet access. It thinks it's a phone. It's okay. Hopefully it still works. Consider giving it a unique name and icon in order to remember what it is. So we're going to go with Wemo Switch 4. Not that we have four of them, just it's arbitrary. Don't worry about it. Device icon. Ah, we can take a photo. Let's take a photo. Oh, this is fun. So we're going to take a photo of this fan. See? Because we're going to use it to control a fan. Use. Excellent. There we go. We can receive important Belkin updates and other product related information if we put in our email. Remember Wi Fi settings and done. Now it may have appeared that the app crashed there, but it did not. It looks like it just needed a restart in order to apply our new settings. So we can clearly see, oh, it wants to know if we need a new firmware, but that's okay, we'll, we'll deal with that later. We can clearly see our fan picture as well as a power switch. Uh, you can see there's switches, sensors, you can set rules for turn off or on only, turn on then off all this kind of neat stuff, but let's just find out if it actually works. Can we wirelessly turn off a device if I'm sitting in bed and I'm, you know, too warm? Can I turn on the fan next to me without actually getting up again? Yo. And you can turn it off again just like that. Very cool stuff. Setting up another device is easy peasy. You just go into more and then you can have remote access, you can turn it on and off, you can see settings and about, all kinds of neat stuff. You can update your firmware, you can go to the help center, and you can set up another device, which we incidentally already have plugged in. We're going to do that off camera and we'll come back and show you the motion sensor one. Now that we've got more than one device set up, we can start to play around with rules. So you can say, uh, for example, uh, turn off the coffee pot at 9 a.m. or turn on the lights from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. or even turn off the fan 15 minutes after I leave. So we're going to go with a fan setting and we're going to have Wemo Switch 4 turn on if Wemo Motion 17 detects motion and we can set a time or days but we're not really going to and we're going to set a name for the rule and we're going to show you guys in a more dramatic fashion how this works in the real world. My rule is now active. I want to show a real world example of how the motion sensor on the other side of this door can activate the fan when I walk into the room. So I'm going to casually stroll into the room. Whoa! Thanks for watching NCIX Tech Tips.